So uh, yeah, I've been rec uh, recording data now for a long number of years. Uh, I joined the Better Sheep program, I suppose maybe six years ago, and I, it was a year or two before that I had just kind of started. Uh, I had bought a farm software program and bought a handheld, so I had the O's up on that, and I was getting, uh, you know, some benefits, some data from it. But it was really when I joined the, the sheep program that uh, I really started recording, getting value from the, the data that I was collecting. And I suppose the, the help that they gave on that was instrumental really in that line. Some of the, the main benefits of recording and capturing data is um, you know, linking the lamb to the, the yo uh, so that any problems with the yo can be linked back to the, the young stock again. And if, if the, the mother is a persistent problem for either mastitis or lameness or whatever, you can link it there to, to the lamb. You know, it's fine you'd see the yo at lambing and you'd say she is a problem, but and you'll say, I'll remember that now, but if you don't record it and some way, some good way of recording it, that it's easy to retrieve again in six months' time when you're picking out your your lambs, you know, that information is long gone uh, unless you have some dedicated way of recording that data. Initially, I would have thought um, tagging lambs as a day old would be something, you know, that you couldn't do. Uh, when it was suggested to me when I joined the, the sheep program, that that was one of the things that uh, would be necessary. You know, I went with it obviously, but I was skeptical as to you know how how easy that would be. But as it turned out, it's it's no problem to the lamb, and the retention rate is practically 100%. There's no issues whatsoever. Another thing with the EID tagging is uh, when it comes. Well, first of all, at lambing time. So if a yo has a problem, you scan her. She's scanned for numerous things, but one of the things is if she has an issue, problem, whether, no matter what it is, mastitis, uh, it could be large, perhaps, you know, poor mothering, whatever. So when it comes then to at weaning time, those yo's are all scanned again, and you've an, you can set up an alert at the time of the issue at lambing. So the handheld will give you a double beep, so you know straight away, and it'll tell you on the screen what that issue is. So. You can put a mark, a line on her if she's if she's fat at that stage, she can be sent away straight away, or if she needs feeding or whatever, she can be put put into a separate group, and um, the information is there. Whereas, you know, you could put a a red mark on her pole or something at that point and say that well, a red mark means to call, but she's shorten in the meantime, you know, or whatever. That could be something that's gone. Uh, so with the EID tagging. You know, it's foolproof that you know that the information is there, as I said before. You you just scan a sheep, and you'll see it'll come up if there's a problem or whatever. And you know, you can make decisions there and then in the yard, uh, and they're they're informed decisions, which is more important than just a decision. EID tagging and all the other technologies that are used, they're great. Like, but you've got to to think, why are you doing it? You know, what's the, the final outcome of it? And obviously, it's the gross margin is, is the big thing. Uh, since I've joined the, the Better Sheep program, my gross margin would have almost doubled from what it was before I joined the program. And it's down to a numerous lot of factors, you know, grassland management, paddock systems, uh, breeding policy. But EID tagging is a part of that, and it is, is a, good, you know, a good part of it as well, like, you know, to the final, the final picture.